Welcome to this video. This is Kevin Barnes again at you. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe to this video. I want to talk about how to pick beats. Listen, you have to pick beats. Now, again, I'm talking to my rappers. I'm talking to my singers. I'm talking to my R&B artists, to my, you know, songwriters. You have to pick beats that challenge you. What happens if you pick the same type of beat over and over? Guess what? You're going to write the same type of song over and over and over and over again. And you have to pick beats that challenge you. Beats that force you to write about things that you've never wrote about before. Beats that challenge you to rap or sing in a way that you've never rapped or sung, sung before. If I mean, again... Listen to a lot of the beats right now. You know, I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, there's a lot of producers that are putting out the same type of music. And there's nothing wrong with that because right now, I mean, that trap sound is just what's in. It's what's in. Now, if you don't like that music, if you can't get with that music and you're picking the same type of music over and over, but you're not advancing in your career, something has to change, right? Something has to change. Because if you continue to force the music that and, and make the music that only you like, then only you're going to be the one listening to it. But see, sometimes as a creative person, we have to do what we have to do in order to stay relevant, in order to stay current, in order to stay creative. And a lot of the beats that a lot of artists are picking keeps them in a safe zone. It keeps you writing the same type of song. You sing it the same, or you sing it or rap it the same way. When people hear your songs, they say, ah, okay, that's cool. There's nothing about your music, there's nothing about your songs that grab people and force them to become a fan and want more. Let, let me let you know something. Fans have to hear your music and like your music in order to buy your music. If they don't hear it, then how can they like it? And how can they buy it? And how can they buy it if they don't hear it or they don't like it? They have to like it. And right now, the overpowering percentage of fans is the younger generation. And I mean, yes, there are a lot of older you know, fans and people out there buying records, but... You have to do what you have to do to make the best music possible. Or you're going to continue to go in circles doing the same things over and over. Ask yourself this. How long have you been creating music? Think about it. How long have you been doing this? You know, you, you may have done a few shows here. You may have done a few shows there. Maybe a few appearances here. You may have a few albums out here. You may have done a few collaborations here and there. But... If your career is at a standstill, that means you have to do something different. That means you have to pick beats that are different. That means you can't pick the same beats that everybody else is picking and do the same things that everybody else is doing. You have to do something that makes you stand out. Think about what a beat does to you when you listen to it. When you listen to a beat, Whatever it is about that beat that inspires you, right? Maybe it could be the kick drum. Maybe it could be the, the swing of the drums. Maybe it's the melody. Maybe it's, you know, the ambient instruments. I don't know what it is that inspires you, but it's something about every beat that inspires you. Now, again, I want you to picture this. If you're doing and you're picking the same beats that you've always picked and your career is not moving, you got to ask yourself why. You got to ask yourself why. I mean, because I run across a lot of artists that always say, you know what, I don't like the this new generation of music, and I can't write to that because I'm used to writing what I write. Well, those artists will always be an unknown artist. And this is about advancing. So the first thing is, everything starts with the beat. If you get a beat and it doesn't inspire you, it's not going to inspire you to write. It's not going to inspire you to sing. It's not going to inspire you to rap. And if you're not inspired to rap, sing, or 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 write, then what what happens? Days go by, weeks go by, months go by. Before you know it, you're not even in, in the studio. And then if you're not taking any steps every day to get to the next level of your music career, then nothing is happening every day and time is just wasting. 
So I encourage you, when you pick beats, you got to pick beats that challenge you. You got to pick beats that bring something out of you that you've never used before. Something that you've never experienced before. So you can write something and perform something and sing and rap something that you've never wrote or you've never performed or you've never created before. And I promise you, once you do that over and over and over and over again, you'll start to stretch yourself. And when you start to stretch yourself, all of a sudden people will start to like your music because now you have a different sound than what everybody else is listening to. Sometimes it just takes some guts. It really takes guts. You have to really set in your mind that, you know what, I'm going to find music production that inspires me. But not just inspires me, but that challenges me. Because if you're not challenged, then you're going to do the same things. And I mean... Only you know what doing the same things has done for you up to this point. So, that's all. I'm, I'm, I apologize for the video being this long. Click the link below to go ahead and download your free beat right now. This is Kevin Barnes signing off. Like, share, subscribe. Keep watching the videos. Peace.